but if you talk like this all the time, it's still gonna sound terrible. This guy here is actually probably more important than getting yourself a really nice camera. Hello, and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video, or rather, water break. I've already forgotten the name of this show. Probably would have helped if I had taken a swig of water right before the show <coughs> began. <coughs> so yeah, welcome to another episode of Water Break. On this episode, I would actually like to start a new series. I'm not really sure how often I'm going to do it. I don't know how long I'm going to do it for, but I know that this is going to be the first episode, or maybe episode zero, of a show called... How to make YouTube videos. And I know that there's a trillion tutorials already on the internet. If you want to know how to make YouTube videos, there's a bazillion channels that only do tutorials on how to make YouTube videos. But if you're interested in making videos like the ones that I made on this channel, or you have specific questions about making your own channel, which does similar stuff to the, what happens on this channel, which is essentially anything I feel like doing that day, but more specifically video games and video games and arcade sticks and video games and Japan. Sometimes we talk about Japan. Anyway, so I don't actually know what topics are going to be in this sort of mini series, but that's why we're making this episode so that in the comments below, if you could already, if you, even if you've already got an idea, you can jump straight into the comments now or you can wait till this video is finished and actually suggest things that you'd like to hear in this video series. And I think what we'll also do is we'll do like a few videos and then a live stream and then a few videos and then a live stream, then we can get a lot of interactivity going. So a lot of people usually come into Nihongo Gamer video comments or on live streams. And I often get this question, how do I get myself started as a YouTube channel? Or what camera do you recommend? Or how do I get more subscribers? There's a lot of these general questions. A lot of people who have not got a channel will go onto YouTube, watch the videos and go, I would like to do that. Or maybe not even that they would like to make YouTube videos, but they'd like to make money. Or they're, in just general, they just like to be popular. A lot of people have very different motivations. But that's what this series is going to be about. Figuring out the technical aspects what sort of camera do you want to use? And just just for, just for an example, I'm actually just going to take a picture of this right now. I'm actually just recording a video now. This is actually the, this is my iPhone. You can see I've already damaged it. It's on a cheap phone holder on a tripod, and it's plugged into a USB cable into my computer. And my computer is running free software called OBS, which records my videos for me. But in all honesty, you don't actually have to do it like that. You could literally just put the microphone on a tissue box, click record and start going. This is a separate microphone, but you don't have to have a separate microphone. Sometimes in tutorials they say, just make videos. It doesn't matter the quality, it doesn't matter what camera you use, it doesn't matter what microphone you use. There are a lot of things that you can do to make your life easier, to get started. Just as like one easy tip for this first prologue episode, episode zero, is make sure your video doesn't sound like crap. Even if you have like the worst possible webcam in the world, there are a lot of channels that have millions of subscribers and all they use is the webcam built into their Mac. And uh, over time, they've built that into the style of their channel. It's like, I just record, <laughs> I just record on my MacBook with the built-in webcam. It's low quality and it doesn't even matter. But the sound quality is actually quite good. And if a person looks at something, like, I don't want to go into too much detail right now. As of like seven or eight years ago, HD became the main standard. If you didn't make a video in HD, it was already kind of like, ah, oh, I don't really want to watch this. But you can actually still make videos that are not HD, even today in 2019, as long as it doesn't sound terrible. And that's why this guy here is actually probably more important than getting yourself a really nice camera. Because you can be entertaining, you can be insightful, you can be friendly. Did I say interesting? I don't know if I said interesting already. You can do all those things without great sound, without great picture quality. But if you do any of these things, being interesting, being funny, being insightful, being informative, all of these things, if you do them with bad sound quality, that's something that like, it's like you can direct pain into the body through the ear. But with visuals, people can just switch the screen off. If they don't like looking at your visuals, they can just look away and they can actually still enjoy about 85 to 90% of your video without even looking at the video. And so what's difficult about YouTube and probably the biggest stumbling block, and this is, again, I'm, I'm, this really isn't the first episode. This is only just a preamble to what's gonna be coming in the future. But as a sort of preview, we're gonna be talking about stuff like this. The misleading thing about YouTube 
the video sharing platform, which is not their tagline, but that's essentially what people say. Like, what is YouTube? Oh, it's a place where you can watch videos, as if the video is the most important thing. But it really isn't, right? It's just very, very misleading. What people are really doing is they're going on to YouTube and they're getting information or they're having a f being entertained. And a lot of these things, 80% of that comes through what people are saying. If you turned the audio off on most videos, you would get almost nothing out of most of the videos on YouTube. But if you turn the screen off and you can still hear what's going on, you still get for a, for a large majority of the videos that are on YouTube, you can still get over 50% to over 60% of what is actually being communicated. It's not really talked about in this way very often, but YouTube is kind of more like a glorified podcast. And so much of the information really does come through your voice. So this is not the first official tip or anything, but we, we're gonna be talking about things quite specifically. If you have a question like, what camera should I buy? Or where do I start getting a good microphone or getting a good camera? And for example, an answer I'll give is, just make sure your audio doesn't suck at the start. And buying a nice microphone doesn't make your audio quality better. Like we'll talk about this in the future, but even if you have a microphone that costs you $100 and you plug it into an interface that gets it into your computer, which also costs $100. You spent like $200 on audio, but if you talk like this all the time and really smash the audio like this, it's still gonna sound terrible because you've misunderstood how the microphone works. Probably the safest advice if you're looking for good audio is to just record something as a test and then play it back on your computer or play it back in your whatever app you're using to edit and just listen and, and does it hurt? So more importantly than going out and buying a nice microphone or buying yourself a nice camera is to take whatever you've got, make a video. You don't even have to edit it. Just record, stop, and then play it back. And that is the biggest, biggest thing that people forget to do is they don't watch their own videos. They have no idea what they're putting out there. A lot of people will record content and they think, oh well, 40 minute videos do well on the internet, so I'll make a 40 minute video too and I'll put it on the internet and everyone's gonna love it. It's like, whoa, I know it's 40 minutes long and it could do well on the internet, but please watch it at least once before you put it on the internet, because that's the major issue. It's not that you chose the wrong mic or that you chose the wrong camera. It's that you don't actually know what you look like or sound like, because you didn't watch it. Simply watching it back once, you would go, wow, in the first five seconds, I'm really boring, or I didn't do my hair, or I didn't do my makeup, I look really terrible, I smell bad. Maybe, I think smell actually comes through the camera, people can tell when you smell bad. But on a serious note, the audio is really important, and I think if most people played back their video, they would know in the first five seconds that their audio is messed up, and it needs to be re-recorded. Don't release this video if it's hard to listen to. I've talked to other people about this, but essentially, when you hear something offensive, it's very difficult to plug your ears. The ears are a very difficult thing to block off on the body. It's a very vulnerable orifice in the body. Whereas the eyes, if you see something that you don't like, you do this and you don't see it anymore. You know, that's why we're in scary movies. We're like drinking our soda, having our popcorn, watching the movie, you see something scary, you do this, right? And suddenly it's not scary anymore, but it is still scary because you can't switch the audio off. And so you like close your eyes, you close your ears, but you can still hear the screaming and you hear something is scary happening on the movie. And then, you know, basically, this is a very vulnerable part of the body. And if not treated res with respect, you're gonna get maybe five views on your video when maybe if you had just made sure the audio was sounding okay, you would have got who knows, maybe 150 views on your first video. And you go from 150 views to 800 views, to 2,000 views, to 5,000 views, to eventually you're making videos, you're uploading them, and a day later, you've got like 40,000 views. And you don't even know exactly how. You just happen to you just happen to stumble upon something that's interesting, or you happen to be quite informative, or you're quite insightful, but you, it's almost impossible to get to that stage if it sounds painful. To the ear. That became way more specific than I was hoping that it would be. But that's what I want this series to be like. I want to be as interactive as possible, answer as many of your comments as possible, and then I think in the future what I'll do is I'll make a playlist 
and I'll put the videos in the correct order so that whatever topics we do come across will eventually be in the right order in the playlist so that anyone who's literally coming from base zero and doesn't know anything about making videos. They can just watch that playlist in order and have a good running start. Of course, you can't just watch 50 videos on how to make YouTube videos and then the next day you go out and make a video and it's incredible and you become super famous. That could happen to you, but more than likely what you're gonna do is watch these videos bit by bit and you just test things out yourself and they all will feed in eventually. And I, I, I always find with like the best tutorials, even if a tutorial series is 50 episodes long, like with the best series, you watch like the first two or three, or maybe the first four or five, and then eventually you don't even watch the other 45 tutorials because you've already figured out how to learn and do things your own way. But for the people who need a little more support, and even though they're trying things, it's still not working, then there's another 45 videos in that playlist that's gonna work for them. Anyway, I'm quite excited. I just wanted to make a quick water break video. I, I basically was a little bit thirsty and I felt like talking about YouTube. And this is something that I've been thinking about a long time. But the reason I'm making this video really is because I needed this video. Because what I'm about to say is, just make it. And I, that's exactly why I wasn't making this series. I was just thinking about it in my head. And I have been for over a year. It's just something that's been in the back of my mind. It's like, I, I would like to make that stream where we talk about how to make YouTube videos. I'd like to make that playlist where I talk about how to make YouTube videos, but I would just never get down to it because I kept thinking about the perfect possible way to do it. But then I realized that's not how I've made videos up until this point ever. It's what I've usually done is I've had the idea and then instead of thinking about how I'm going to do it, I just turn the camera on and just do it. And then whatever didn't work, whatever was boring, uninteresting, or just straight up wrong, once it's in the computer, you can just edit it out. That's another important tip is, it's not so much what you put into your video, it's what you take out. And that's not trying to just be philosophical, but a lot of videos don't succeed, and a lot of channels don't succeed, because even though you're saying really amazing, insightful, informative, useful information, it's the other 80%, the gaps in between, the long pauses in between interesting things that you're saying, or just the pointless garbage that you're also saying because you had this hilarious funny anecdote that you thought you had to say. It's leaving it into the video that causes people to click the X button on the window and just close the app and go and watch something else. Well. We could talk about YouTube for hours and hours and hours, and we probably will. We'll have plenty of hours of videos like this, plus live streams in the future where we can interact in real time and answer questions immediately. So let me know exactly what you'd like to see and hear in this YouTube series on how to make YouTube videos. So until the next video in this series, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that great stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream and or on Discord. There are links below, so come and hang out there. Or you can come on Twitter and send me a message on Twitter. Whatever you like. See you next time.